Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Parku reached out to me and asked if I would like to review and show you guys their dual tip art markers. So, of course I said yes. Thank you very much Parku for sending these to me. So, let's take a look at the markers themselves and then of course we are going to swatch them out so this is the packaging so they're they're nicely packaged i love it when they come in cases like this okay so, we have in this particular set 48 colors and then the colorless blender. So, I see that in shipping, and this is not Parku's fault whatsoever, the case did get damaged. Hmm, as nice as it was packaged. But you know how some of these things are just thrown around as they get sent to you. So here is the colorless blender. Now I see it does not fit into one of the slots. Okay. Here we do have looks to be a color chart that you can fill in. Nice thing about this color chart I see it's not that shiny paper it's actually a cardboard so it might be better to actually do a color chart on keep in mind this is still going to be different paper than what your coloring books are so there's still going to be a little bit of variation but no matter what kind of paper you do your color swatches on it's going to be different than your uh, coloring books anyhow so um here is a frequently asked questions. Can I blend? Okay, so there are just a few questions on here that are answered. So it's always nice when you get a color chart included so you can swatch them out. So let's take a look at what the pens themselves look like. They are triangular in shape, which I like to me. Those are really comfortable to hold. I like that. On the end, of on the, each end, the caps have these little knobbies on. To me, that makes it easier to pull the caps off. So uh, another thing that I do like about markers that do that. So on one end, we have the chisel tip which does come to a very nice point. And so we'll be swatching mostly with the chisel tip, but we will test out the other end also, which is a nice bullet tip. Of course, I had to pull the purple out to show this, didn't I? Boy, that was just habit. <laughs> On the end has the color number, and the name and that is on both ends so looks great so far you do have the indicator here's their name parku fine tip broad tip the thing that i like about these and about all the markers that do this is they do put a gray band on one end or the other many times it is the fine end but not always um but yeah, because you don't even have to look at this. You can be on this side. You can instantly see what end the fine tip is on. So, okie dokie. So, let's get on to so watching. So yeah, here is your colorless blender. Okay. So, let me get my pen out. I am just going to be pulling them out in an approximate order that I would want them in like I usually do. So we will start out with what looks to be 
the yellows. And let me zoom you in. Okay, so the very first one, now it says pastel green. Looks kind of yellow to me. Hmm, I think I'm going to put it first anyhow. So, it would help to have that out. 49 pastel green. Okay, and we will work with the chis chisel tip, yeah, and see how juicy they are. Yeah, see, to me, that's that's yellow. That's not green. <laughs> and mm, they do have an odor to them. A little bit stronger some of the, than some of the other alcohol markers I've worked with. But not real bad. This one is number 27, and this is Pastel Peach. So far, I like this, that they have included some pastel colors. Ooh, that is a pretty color. Very juicy. Do you see that when I lifted up the pen, there was a small pool? Lift up the marker, I should say. So, yeah, very nice and juicy. Let's go into... Um, let's see. That is it for the oranges, or the yellows. Now we have to remember this is only a 48 set. They do have some larger sets. I will link them all down below in the description. So we have French Vermilion and Vermilion. So 22 French. Vermilion, and while I'm writing, I'll write the next one right away. 14 is Vermilion. I'll just write real quick. <laughs> okay, French Vermilion, which is a really deep, deep orange. And then Vermilion which is more on the red side. So we do not have, in this particular set, we do not have a lighter orange, which is kind of unfortunate. Would be nice to have something in between here. Okay, so then we have a couple reds. We have 11 Carmine. Now I think... I think it's Parku that's coming out with a larger set. Um, oh, that's a nice red. Okay, then we have a deep red. There's a rose red, but I think that's more on the pink side. So I think we'll put it down with the pinks, but we have number one, wine red. Okay, that is definitely dark. Let's see what the fine tip over here looks like. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Love my fine tips. <laughs> okay, let's go into the pinks then. And there's quite a few pinks. Now, here is a peach. I suppose I could have put that up by the pastel peach. 18 peach. I knew these weren't going to be in the right order. Anywho. Okay, that's more on the pink side. Anyhow, that's not really peach. So, All right, so let's go into some of the lighter pinks. We have 27, which is powder pink. And we have 28, which is fruit pink. So far, these seem very nice. Nice and juicy. The, uh, oh, that's a pretty pink. The uh, chisel tip seems nice and firm. 
and fruit pink. Okay, a little bit different in there. Then we have light pink and pastel pink. So, move this up a bit. We have 138 light pink and then 17 pastel pink. Now, who knows which one's going to be lighter than the other because the tips are very similar. So, Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, pastel pink, ironically enough, is brighter than the light pink. All right, we have rose red and cherry pink then. So we'll go three rose red and five cherry pink. Yeah, the rose red is kind of, it's kind of, yeah, in between a red and a, and a pink, right? Cherry pink. Well, those two go together very well. So I think I would leave the rose red down there. All right, then we do have a few purples. So I'll just jot these all down. 147, pale lilac. And 83, which is lavender. And 82, which is light violet. Okay. Okay, pale lilac. Yeah, much more on the pink side. Lavender. That's pretty. Quite a bit of gray in that color. And then light violet. Oh, love that color. Okay, that's it for the purples. Let's go on to the blue. Let's see, the lightest ones. Now this dark blue light does have a purplish tinge to it, but again, that's just the cap, so not really sure what it's going to come out like. Dark blue light. And then on the other end of the blues is 182 frost blue. Okay, for dark blue light. Okay, definitely on the purple side. Frost blue. Oh, that's pretty. Love it when you get a nice light blue like that. Okay, then we have... Hmm, let's go with the sky blue because these others are more along the more turquoise side. So let's do the 76 sky blue blue. Then we're going to do 66 baby blue. And then we will do 65 ice blue. All right, so sky blue. Oh, that's pretty. Love that color. Okay, baby blue. Ooh. And ice blue. Ooh, love teal colors. Okay, we have a couple more blues. All right, so... 
Here we have 70, which is royal blue. We have 64 Indian blue. Can't read my own writing. <laughs> when I'm on camera, I try to write this as fast as I can, <laughs> so it gets kind of messy. 63. I usually have neater handwriting, I promise. Cerulean blue. I just feel rushed when I swatch. Okay, royal blue. Oh, love that. So kind of a standard blue. Indian blue. And cerulean blue. Oh, pretty. Ice blue and cerulean go together great, right? So these are all very, very different. Very pretty. Now, one thing I do want to point out about the case. Oh, let's zoom back out for just a tad. If you notice, there is a grid in the bottom of this case. And this is the one thing that I really like about these kind of cases over those uh, black cloth kind of bags. Is once you take a marker out, everything else doesn't flop all over the place. And you can keep your markers in a nice order. So, yeah, love. Whoop love these kind of cases oh that just hooks back in okay so the cover can come off <laughs> now we know all right let's go up here and let's go into the greens we'll pick a couple of the lighter greens so we have 174 spring Dim green. We have 59 pale green. And 47 grass green. There are quite a few greens in here. As you can see, there's quite a few blues too. Okay, spring dim green ooh pretty and pale green oh, those go together really well too and grass green yeah really nice succession in color there right mm. okay let's go more on the turquoise side for a minute. We have mint green light 58. And we have 68 which is turquoise blue. Mm, okay. I wouldn't have put that with the blues but and 55, which is emerald green. Okay, so mint green light. Get the lid out of the way here. Then we have turquoise blue. Does not look blue, does it? Okay, yeah, not a blue at all. <laughs> and emerald green. Ooh, that's a pretty green. Love that. Okay, uh, let's see, two more greens. There is one called yellow green, but I think it may be more on the brownish tannish side. So I'm going to leave it uh, for next when we get into the earth tones. 52 deep green looks like I put beep a deep 51 dark green 
Now, if you would hear those two names, it's like, okay, it's the difference between deep green and dark green. <laughs> this is a deep green. Oh, that's pretty. And dark green. Okay, so the dark is just a tad darker than the deep green. But because they are so similar, I think one could be taken out and, and given us a regular orange in this particular set again. Um, this is a smaller set. So here we have 101 yellow ochre. And again, I kind of thought this would be more on the browner side than a yellow. Yeah, definitely. And let's see what that yellow green is like. And I could be totally wrong and it does <laughs> belong in the greens because again hard to tell by the cap oh it does go with the greens okay oh righty now i know <laughs> lot of earth tones wow 97 rose beige So if you do a lot of scenic type of pictures between the sky, the greens, and then earth tones, this is a really good smaller set. I like that brown. All right, we have a 95 burnt sienna. Ooh, pretty. And we have 102 raw umber. Some really nice browns. 93 burnt orange. Some of these are getting a little close together, right, in color. Again, you know, it is nice to have a lot of browns, but not so similar. So I do think it would be nice to maybe have some more colors over there. And then we have Brick Brown 94. little bit darker but still kind of similar and two more we have chestnut brown 98 These look to be darker browns yes very much darker very much darker <laughs> Is that how you say it? 92 chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? <laughs> okay, and that one's lighter. So yeah, it would be really nice to have maybe a light, light tan. And then a few colors in between here and these dark ones, right? Let's go on to the grays. We have WG1 Warm Gray. And we have one other Warm Gray, and that is WG5. 
And just one gray. We'll do it like that. Save a little bit of time. Okay, so quite a leap in colors, but for me, that's fine. If you've seen my other swatching videos, I'm not a huge gray person, <laughs> but I know many people are. So we have cool gray one. There are a couple of additional cool grays. That's a pretty gray. Then we have cool gray four. We have cool gray. Nope, sorry, blue gray five. Wait a minute. Okay, we'll go to this cool gray six. Okay, so some nice cool grays in there. And then we have this blue-gray 5. Oh, that's a pretty gray, too. And then finally, the 120, which is a black. Let's see how nice of a deep black it is. Oh, that's a nice black. I like it when they're real deep, deep black. Once in a while you get like a real dark gray for a black. So, all right, let's zoom back out and let's take a look at all the colors as a whole. Okay, again, we have to keep in mind this is only a 48 set. So it is a smaller set of markers. I love all the different blues. There are none that are similar whatsoever. The purples are different. Not too many. Could maybe use, you know, another red. But I especially think we another, need another orange or two. Um... You know, maybe take out one of these and then, yeah, a few of these browns. What do you guys think? Yeah. Otherwise, like I said, for a small set, I don't think they're bad. Um, they are nice and juicy. And like I said, the, the fine tip is really nice. And I think it would be great for coloring in you know, finer places, whereas this this uh, chisel tip, yeah. For those of you who are used to chisel tips, I have a hard time because you can get really fine. You can get finer lines with the chisel, you know, than you can actually with the bullet tip. Well, probably about the same. But yeah, you can get, you know, real fine lines with the chisel. I just have to force myself to work with the chisel more. <laughs> so that is the swatching of the 48 set of the Parku markers. Again, they come in this nice plastic container. Um, mine was just a little damaged in transit but yeah otherwise it is a nice nice case so well i hope you enjoyed the swatching of these markers if you did please give it a thumbs up but please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel i hope everybody's having a terrific weekend and as always happy coloring bye guys